This is the Understanding Trig Product to Sum Formulas tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you about product to sum formulas and sum to product formulas. Now, if we begin with product to sum formulas, they're exactly as they sound. You're taking the product of two trig functions, so in this case, sine x times sine y, and you're turning that into a sum formula. So we've got product to sum formulas for a sine times sine, sine times a cosine, and a cosine times a cosine. So let me bring in a couple examples here and we'll work through them and you'll get an idea of how these product to sum formulas work. I'd like you to express the following products as a sum that contains only sines or cosines. So take a look at this guy to begin with. We have a product of sine times cosine. Now whenever we multiply a sine times a cosine, we're going to use this formula right here. And you'll notice that the x is going to go correspond with 6 theta here, and the y going with that cosine is going to correspond to this 4 theta. So for this problem, x is equal to 6 theta, and y is equal to 4 theta. So, to work this guy out, we've got 1 half times the sine of x plus y, so 6 theta plus 4 theta, which is 10 theta, plus the sine of x minus y, so 6 theta minus 4 theta, which gives you 2 theta. Now this is expressing this product as a sum. Now let's take a look at this problem. In this problem, we've got a cosine times a cosine. So we can use this product of some formula right here. Now you'll notice that 2 theta is going to be our x for this problem. And 4 theta is going to be our y for this problem. So we've got 1 half the cosine of x minus y, so 2 theta minus 4 theta, which is a negative 2 theta, plus the cosine of x plus y, so 2 theta plus 4 theta, which is the cosine of 6 theta. So you could leave this problem right here as simply the sum of this product formula. So that gives you an idea of how to work with product to sum formulas. Let's go ahead and move on to sum to product formulas. Here are your basic sum to product formulas. And you'll notice with these that you're starting with a sum and you're ending up with a product. So you're ending up with two trig functions multiplied together. So let's take a look at a couple example problems and we'll apply these sum to product formulas to them. So for these problems, I'd like you to express each sum or difference as a product of sines or cosines. So for this first problem, you'll notice that we have a cosine function minus another cosine function. So we're going to use this sum to product formula, a cosine function minus another cosine function. And you also may have noticed that our x is going to be equal to 5 theta over 2, and our y is going to be equal to theta over 2. So I'll write them over here. x is equal to 5 theta over 2, and y is equal to theta over 2. So we'll plug them into this side of our formula now. So this guy is going to turn into negative 2 times the sine of x plus y, so 5 theta over 2 plus theta over 2, all over 2, times the sine of x minus y, so 5 theta over 2 minus theta over 2, and all of that over 2. So now we've expressed this sum or difference, this difference in this case, as a product of sines. You could continue on if you'd like, so let's simplify this a little further. We have negative 2 times the sine of 5 theta over 2 plus theta over 2. Now because they have a common denominator of 2 here, we can combine the numerators. So 5 theta plus theta is 6 theta. So we have 6 theta over 2, and all of that is still over 2, times the sine 
of 5 theta over 2 minus theta over 2, which is 4 theta over 2. And that's still over that 2 right there. And we could continue to reduce. So we could take 6 theta over 2 and reduce that to 3 theta. And that's still over that 2. And we could cross cancel here and reduce that 4 theta over 2 to 2 theta, which would still be over that 2 right there. Then the 2's would cancel and you'd simply have theta here. So when you do that reduction work, we have negative 2 times the sine of 3 theta over 2 times the sine of theta over 2. And that's as far as we can take this problem. Now that we've done that one, let's take a look at the problem on the right. In this case, we have a sine plus another sine. So we have a sum of sines here. We could use this formula right here, the sum of sines. And if we did that, you'd notice that our x value is going to be theta. So x is equal to theta. And our y value here is going to be 3 theta. So y is equal to 3 theta. And we'll plug those x and y values into the right side of the equation here. So for this problem, we're going to have 2 times the sine of x plus y. So theta plus 3 theta over 2 times the cosine of x minus y. So theta minus 3 theta over 2. Now we can simplify further. 2 times the sine of theta plus 3 theta is 4 theta, and that's over 2. So 4 theta over 2 is going to reduce to 2 theta times the cosine of theta minus 3 theta. So theta minus 3 theta is a negative 2 theta, and a negative 2 over 2, the 2's are going to cross cancel, and we're going to have the cosine of negative theta. Now remember from your even odd identities that a cosine of negative theta is the same as a cosine of positive theta. So what we have here is 2 times the sine of 2 theta times the cosine of theta. And that's going to be our answer for this sum to product formula. So that's all you need to know about sum to product formulas and product to sum formulas. They're fairly straightforward. They're just complex formulas here that you would have to memorize for an exam. So I suggest just a lot of practice with these guys for you to memorize them.